Hi sisters, today we're going to be talking about Shane Dawson's public TikTok likes. Shane Dawson, we know him, we love him, we've talked about him most of my channel, but it was just brought to my attention through the Google Forms below that you can also submit video ideas that Shane Dawson's TikTok likes are public. Everything that he likes on TikTok is open for all of us to see. What? Am I dreaming? This is actually my dream come true. You may know Shane Dawson as a YouTuber, but I personally know him as a TikToker with 3 million followers. That's right, baby. Shane Dawson has over a million followers on every single platform that he touches, and that's good. He only follows 23 people, and I went through that following, and personally, none of it was worthwhile. It was just old YouTubers who he's still trying to gain a relationship with, even though it didn't work back in 2016. For a while, Shane tried to actually be a TikToker, like this video has 37 million views. How to tell if you have yellow teeth. First, you're going to choose the color selector filter. Choose yellow. Get next to a light. Smile. I have some yellow, and that is okay. I'm human. 37 million views. <laughs> what about this one with 14 million views? Okay, so he's got the soap, he's got the, oh boy. That finger movement's fucking disgusting. Shane, what are you doing? Do you think that this towel is like your little kitty? That's really cool, Shane. Okay, now we're gonna go through his likes. Holy shit. When you look at his likes, it literally just looks like Jeffree Star. But when you do a little bit of a deep dive, some of this content is really interesting. Shane is on millennial talk, where they talk shit about Gen Z. And I think it's really telling that this is the side of TikTok that Shane's on. He's literally just looking for people to feed his worries that Gen Z is going to take over at some point. He's like, oh no, is my career actually going to be over? What are the odds that Gen Z actually has a point in my cancellation? Like this video, for example. So I know I'm not the only person that thinks this and I'm kind of just venting at this point and feel free to, you know, comment below and say how you're feeling, but I'm just tired of the fucking sure. world. And I'm not saying that in a nihilistic, depressing way. I'm perfectly like fine. It's just, there's too much information going, like going around that I don't know what's real and what's not anymore and it does kind of fucking stress me out where i'm seriously debating on just deleting all my apps and just pretending it's still 2005 but at the end of the day we're still animals and this information overload is too much so i completely understand where this person is coming from who made the tiktok but the fact that shane dawson is liking this and relating to it where he's like i'm just gonna delete all my apps and that's the way to go that's the way to get out of my cancellation that's the way to own up to my actions you know just deleting everything or what about this one <laughs> Do you think I have it? I think so. <laughs> Do what you want, dress how you like, but when you're Ryland Adams, no, no, no. The fact that you're dressing up as like a little kitty leopard cat for Shaney <laughs> makes me so happy. Here's another millennial talk that Shaney has been into. Uh, uh. To my millennial friends, listen up. Apparently Gen Z's are making fun of us. Who cares? Are y'all for real, for real mad about this? I keep seeing people on my FYP talking about they're making fun of us. My geriatric ass is nestled comfortably in my 30s, crip walking my way to 40. You cannot make me feel ashamed because I was born in a certain decade. The fuck? <laughs> okay, here's the thing. Now, all these TikToks are fine on face value. And then I understand like Shane Dawson is watching this and confiding in these content creators like, yes, I've been trying to say this, but I can't can't say it out loud because I'll be canceled. Oop. Like, what the fuck? Yes, I'm out of the loop, and I'm not part of the cool crowd anymore, so I need TikToks to fucking relate to. Skinny jeans, wearing them. Emojis, using them. And I'm gonna be LOL and an LMAO in my ass in a nursing home, okay? Because I don't give a fuck. Millennial women, I need y'all to toughen up, okay? Yeah, toughen up. Toughen up. If there's actually Gen Z people reaching out to you and making fun of you, then maybe it's okay to feel bad about that. <laughs> you know what? Toughen up, actually. All of this is just Shane looking for a a sign that he's okay. <laughs> Almost all the TikToks that he likes outside of the Jeffree Star ones are millennial this, millennial that, <laughs> generation alpha. We'll get to this where he likes to TikTok of a little girl. It's kind of sad in a way where Shane's on TikTok trying to be like, yes, I'm still relevant. I'm listening to these millennials with normal jobs talk about their lives and how their little cousins make fun of them. Shane's like, I have millions of followers who hate me and I'm just going to assume that they're all part of Gen Z because I need some sort of out. <laughs> it is everybody's faith. 
to become old, to become dated, to fall out of the mainstream loop. If that's everyone's fate, then why did Shane Dawson just make a video on Water Talk fully copying Curtis? If you're okay, quote okay, with falling out of the mainstream loop, then fall out of the mainstream loop, I'm begging you. I'm genuinely on my knees begging. I know that you like it when... <laughs> <laughs> People with baby faces are on their knees. Your energy is in all these different places right now. You're posting content to try to stay relevant, but then you're liking TikTok saying that it's okay to not be relevant. Here's a weird one that Shane liked. Okay, show me how you talk on a phone. Okay, show me how you take a picture of someone. How do you take a picture of someone? Okay, and show me how you roll up a window for a car. Shane, why are you liking this grainy ass footage of Generation Alpha? How old do you have to be in Generation Alpha? Born 2010 to 2024? With your fucking history, you liking videos of little girls? You're like, this is gonna look good. I'll tell you that right now. Did you like this to show Ryland? Like, look, we're not getting old. It's just the kids are getting younger. <laughs> I won't show her face, but this little girl kind of looks Looks like Shane's little cousin that he sexualized. Not saying anything about this, whatever, but like, I just thought it was interesting. Here's another millennial talk, Shane. Please step up your game. Watch someone else. There are people literally putting salad dressing on their feet as treatment for their fucking foot fungus. Never heard a human being in my entire life, millennial or not, use doggo unironically in person. This millennial you guys are like coming at that's aging out of the internet does not exist. Shane. Shane is literally the kind of person to be like on god right ryland can we get some milk from the store on god if you don't i'll leave you i'll take you out of my will and then here's something that really weirds me out and i just want you to tell me your thoughts on this i don't want anyone to think that i'm reading into things ryland made a video with an original sound called Meghan Markle diva. Some of Shane's fans started making videos to that sound. Shane liked all of them. All of them. These are all strangers. And some of the ones that Shane liked, I find to be a little creepy that he liked them. Like this is someone <sighs> named Big I'm Booty like Kenzie, that. who at the time was 18, saying Shane Dawson is honestly a G for this. Shane Dawson return. I love you guys so much. 21 likes and Shane liked this of an 18 year old doing a transition into a dress. And some of them I get liking. Like this to me is kind of funny that, I don't know, some school used Shane Dawson sound. Like I would like that. But with your history, I feel like liking someone else's hot girl TikToks under your sound is strange. 15 likes. Stop me in my tracks when she called me a that's a TikTok that I would have, I don't know, shown to another YouTuber because I thought it was so god awful. But it stopped me in my tracks. Oh no! Now there's dog talks to this sound? Fuck no! Shane, come on. Uh, oh, I mean, literally, don't come on. You have a history of that. But it stopped me in my tracks when she called me a and then we go to this person's page. Literally the hashtag is hashtag 18, hashtag fake body, hashtag diva. And he's liking this with 31. Oh, well, I only liked it so that I could <laughs> keep track of it before he unlikes them. But like 30 likes at the time, but no comments, 28 likes. This is in his liked. But what is happening? She is. She called me. We don't know. Like, it's weird because this isn't even related to Shane, but he's still liking them. At the time, this girl was 19, according to her mom's TikTok. When she called me a you're liking your fans fucking thirst trap TikToks? Like, honestly, go off to this girl who posted it. But if any of you tagged me in a thirst trap, I would pretend like I didn't see it, right? I genuinely feel like I'm losing my mind. And then, <laughs> oh fuck, he's liked one, two, three, four, 
five. That's just within like the first few fucking pages of his likes. Five Jojo Siwa TikToks when she was a kid. This one I thought was interesting because I thought it was nice, but also creepy. If Shane Dawson didn't have a history of sexualizing minors, I'd be like, okay, this is somewhat okay. This girl posted a TikTok talking about her body dysmorphia with Shane Dawson's merch on. Shane commented and said, you're beautiful and that color looks so good on you. Heart, 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 heart. How do we think he means this? Like in a support of what, if somebody tagged me in something in my merchandise and was like, I'm not feeling the best, I would comment something outside of like, you're beautiful. There are just so many TikTok likes that it is difficult to go through all of them. But the one to me that is the most important is this one. So baby, pull me closer in the backseat. Remember when Shane Dawson did a video with baby Ariel in 2016? How old is baby Ariel right now? Baby Ariel is 22, so 2016 would make her, what, 15? Oh, oh, I'm sorry, did I just hear a word that you yeah. said? Oh, here we go. I was young <laughs> about a year ago. Right, right, right. And I didn't know Me. what certain words, you know. Me neither. I'm sorry, okay? <laughs> I did that same apology when I was like 25. <laughs> right though, you did. Also, where's that hand? If I was recording a video with a 15 year old, my hands would be, what are you doing, man? That's a weird move to be like, oh yeah, just stretching out. <laughs> like the fucking move at the movies. Also in this video, she mentioned a video of her in a bathing suit and he said under his breath, I'm gonna have to search that later. Cool, man. I don't know, it, it just weirds me out and I hate that one, he does doesn't know how to make his likes private. And two, he's liking young girls. He's liking followers. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And uh, yeah. Also, thank you to all my members for supporting me. If you want to become a member, then click the link in the description below. Also in the description is my clothing brand and fund for people with chronic illness. Never stop. 10% of all profits go to someone in need. There's a direct donation link there. So please check it out. I will talk to you later. Bye.